when, when we first received the diagnosis, I thought, I don't know how we can ever be happy again. Menke's disease is a rare fatal genetic disorder. Unless detected and treated in the first 10 days of life, boys with Menke's typically live three to 10 years. And so babies born with Menke's disease have an inability or a limited ability to transport copper from the intestine into the body. Menke's disease is sometimes called kinky hair syndrome due to the brittle, twisted hair infant boys with the condition display. It was right before Christmas time when we saw the geneticist and he said after looking at Lucas's hair that he wanted to look into copper related conditions. After Christmas, January, we were called in, given the results, and we were told he has Menke disease. It's devastating information. Um, and usually they're told by their uh, pediatrician that there's really not much that can be done. That's uh, largely because the uh, treatment of this disease uh, doesn't uh, occur soon enough. First 10 days of his life, we were in the NICU with him. That would have been the time to run the test, but no one thought to do it. Early detection is critical in Minky's patients because treatment needs to begin in the first 10 days of life to be most effective. Without it, the boys will not get the copper they need and their muscles, brain, and hair cannot develop correctly. Unfortunately, the majority of Menke's cases are not detected until developmental milestones are missed at four months of age or later. By then, much of the damage is irreversible. At four months, Lucas was told that he was behind on his milestones and it was a significant delay, but still we felt there was a, a possibility that he would catch up. It can be very frustrating to find that the only opportunity for a potential treatment is to first participate in a clinical research study. The only treatment currently available is part of a clinical trial at the National Institutes of Health and consists of injecting copper daily to increase the chances of the body metabolizing it. So the current therapy is to inject into the muscular tissue uh, small amounts of copper bound to this amino acid histidine. And this has, some, in some cases, been very beneficial if there's partial activity of the ATP78 protein still there. We did copper shots with Lucas every night for about three years. We think that they did help a little bit. It's, um, it's hard to know. But because each mutation that causes Menke's disease is unique, the symptoms and the response to treatment can vary wildly from patient to patient. For some, the copper therapy is life-saving. Now there are some cases where it has worked better, and that's because not all the mutations are the same. And if there's a little bit of activity of the transporter left, then copper treatment uh, seems to work much better. I thought, I don't know how we can ever be happy again, but after a tough period of adjusting expectations, I can honestly say now that he brings us so much joy, so much more joy than, than pain. Until there is a cure, raising awareness and encouraging early detection offer the best hope.